I have been thinking a lot about that new little campers kit recently because I cannot get over how cute all those items are. Like the little TV screen and the fire pit, it all is so good. And so I think today I want to try and make a house specifically to use those new items. Basically, I'm more focused on the backyard than the actual interior today. And I think that's okay. I do have an idea for the outside though. I saw this picture of this real life house. It's not huge, it's kind of long and skinny. I love the like paneling and also the shingles. I think it's kind of a good combo. And so I think I want to try and build something like this. I currently only have the base game, cats and dogs, and the little campers kit installed. Cats and dogs for the shingles and windows, obviously. And then of course a little campers kit because I want to make something like this in the backyard. This is so cute. This is like my actual dream come true. So I want to try and do this in the yard. We just got to build a house for it first. Actually, first I want to give a quick shout out to my own Twitch stream. We've been raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital for the entire month of May and we are almost done with our fundraiser. The last day is May 31st. So we've got a couple days left and I have a lot of really fun things planned on my stream. For example, on Monday, I'm going to dress up as Katy Perry, like from the Sweet Treats cover, and I'm going to bake a cake. I'm calling it Katy Perry Sweet Treats IRL. If that is something that interests you, I will link my Twitch channel down below and also that donation page. As of last night, we were at exactly $269,000 raised, but I kind of want to get to 300,000. So if you want to pop in, I'm just saying, I'll link it all down below. I'm doing a lot of fun things. I think we're going to shave my dad's head tomorrow. I think he can be convinced. I'm just throwing that out there. Anyway, it's linked down below and now we're going to build. I feel like this house needs to be like at least three bedrooms. I'm not sure if we can pull that off, but that is my goal. And obviously it's like not exactly very fancy. It's a small house. It's going to be very plain on the sides and in the back, but it's realistic. Okay. This kind of thing, you would find this all over the place, at least where I live. It's also not going to be like a super fancy house. Obviously it's kind of plain. The sides in the back especially are kind of plain. But again, this kind of thing you would find all the time in real life. Oh, you know what? It's kind of like these base game starter homes, but two stories. It's like I popped a second floor on top and then called it a day. It's all right. It's worth it. It's going to be nice. I guess the real life house was a little bit fancier in the front, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. Theirs was kind of like this. I don't think that looks good. I think I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> This is fine. I'm not sure about color scheme yet either, so I might need to take a second. Oh, that is so annoying. The way the roof is clipping like that, like the roof texture, it's because I have this second roof piece there. Okay, maybe I will use a completely different roof. That one does it too? Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna revisit that. <laughs> I'm gonna paint the house and I'm gonna come back to that. I think this wallpaper is glitched. You see how it's got like the weird trim? It's supposed to be white. That is super odd. It's also annoying because I want to use this wallpaper. <laughs> like I want to use the bigger like more scalloped one. Oh my god. It's so annoying how these things auto place. Like I cannot express to you how irritating it is that there is not like the little trim piece on this part of the wall. Okay, this is a bit ugly. Now that I think about it, it does not look good. So we need, we need to um... <laughs> <laughs> spend some time trying to solve this problem. I don't think that color is that bad. I think it's actually kind of okay. And maybe if there was a real foundation, because then we can kind of try and tie that color in a little bit more. I think that looks good, right? Should we put it on actual medium wall height though? I don't know. I feel like this window looks sad and weak <laughs> if I do that. I usually try to avoid medium wall height for houses that I'm trying to keep a little bit cheaper too, because I just find it's really hard to furnish these things properly. For the most part, I'm not like anti the taller wall heights. I just just tend to like more so use the short wall height because there's more window options that fit it better. Like for example, this window looks kind of small and puny on the medium wall height, but it fits a lot better on this wall height. So if we had like a couple more window sizes, and that's the thing, Cats and Dogs actually has a lot of window options. I think by comparison, it has some of the best window options because there's a lot of different shapes and I still feel that way about it. Do I do brick stairs? The issue is they don't match the foundation. <laughs> like the brick stairs are different from the foundation. I think I like it though. I'm actually actually gonna add an addition on this side of the building. Okay, I wasn't gonna do this, but I think I'm actually gonna add like an addition over here. I know at this point this is shaped like every single house I have ever built in The Sims, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it is it is certainly my go-to, but it works, okay? I just want it to look a little bit nicer, and I thought it didn't look nice before, so <laughs> I'm doing this, okay? I think this will also help with the shape of the backyard too. I guess the backyard is kind of important given we're building the entire house just so it can have a nice backyard. Okay, I think that's reasonable. I'm not 
not gonna put any windows on the sides of the house yet because I'm gonna do that once I add in the floor plan. I know that's weird, but it'll make sense. Don't worry. I swear there is a method to this. <laughs> I've, I've done it quite a few times by now. Okay, I guess that's kind of a good spot for the staircase too because we can have there be like a little hallway entrance. Um, And then maybe there's like a kind of formal office or something. And then back here is like the full kitchen living dining space because we could do the kitchen back here, dining table here, living room here. I mean, I guess we could have it be more open. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how I want to do this. I wonder if we could put like a couple doors here and then have a bathroom to split it up. Let's try that and see how it goes. And then upstairs, I think I'll put a bathroom right here. Probably a large bedroom there. I know that's really big, but I feel like that would be nice. So here's kind of what I'm thinking for the upstairs floor plan. I've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms. All of these rooms are like a little bit um, larger <laughs> than I would like them to be, but it's fine. They can be like weird and long and skinny. We do have an ensuite. There's space for a little desk nook right here, which we all know I love. And it ends up being a three bedroom, three bathroom house. But I guess this room down here could also be a bedroom. So maybe four bedrooms. And now that all of that boring stuff is done, we can actually work on the outside like I wanted to the entire time. <laughs> I feel like this spot over here is kind of a good place for a patio because it kind of like is a natural extension of that little deck. I might actually try and put a hot tub back here. Don't hold me to that. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I'm gonna try. I hate like every single gate in this game. I don't know what it is. Why don't we have like a plain white version of this? Why? I don't get it. Instead, I have to use stuff like this or like all these tiny ones. There's no gates that work for this fence. I don't want to use that one. <laughs> that one doesn't make sense. Okay, I am gonna put the hot tub back here though. I think it works. I don't like any of the colors. <laughs> Oh, this is like the constant struggle with this. Can I use the brown one or is that ugly? Maybe the white is better. Do you think it's worth trying to individually place every single one of these? I don't know. I kind of want to. I like, I feel really tempted to. Oh, why can't I move that? Oh, is it slotted? Oh, that's being really weird. Do we have anything base game that could be like a good way to hang those up? Why doesn't this thing come in a better swatch? Oh, okay. It's fine. I, why don't we have a pole? I will dig through debug. Let's do everything else first and then come back to that. I am like actually obsessed with this tent. You don't understand. This is my favorite thing that has ever come to The Sims 4. I don't know what it is, but this is just so adorable. I have like absolutely zero clue how to best lay this out. I'm not even being dramatic. I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how to best place these items. Is that bed not angled right? Oh my God. We can use that thing like a nightstand. Oh, that is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I've clicked on it before too. And somehow just now I, I still was not prepared for how big it was gonna be. The teddy bears have even come to sleep over with us in the backyard. They're ready. Oh, you can't place this on there. I'm gonna pretend it's a nightstand. I'm gonna put the rocket light there anyway. I think it's floating, but shh, nobody needs to know. <laughs> That's between you and me. The little pop-up book is so cute too. Okay, this is the game table. It is genuinely very important to me to include that in here somehow. I know it's like not really a table table. It's just a game table, but I very much would like to have access to that because I feel like it's useful gameplay wise. I never have those in my builds and we can put like some sort of actual outdoor table with like a grill up here. Oh, maybe I should wait. <laughs> maybe I should swap it. Maybe the game table could go up here and then we could use the umbrella table out here. Okay, fair enough. I suppose that makes more sense. I also really wanted to have a couple of these lounge chairs. I'm kind of trying to pretend it's a pool area when it's just a hot tub. Oh, wait a minute. Would these things be good for this? Cause you could hang the lights like in front of the little bushes. How does that look at nighttime? Okay, genuinely, I think that looks really nice. I'll probably do it over here too. It's not like it's hard to place them. It takes two seconds. Okay, I actually really like that. I love how many fairy lights are out here. They are everywhere and it is perfect. Should we put a little s'more thing on this table? Or maybe I'll get another one of those tables to put over here for the s'mores. And then this could be like, I don't know, actually. I don't know what it could be. Honestly, maybe even just a plant or something. So here's kind of what I was thinking landscaping wise. I wanted to do a little bit in each corner. Maybe we could put another couple folding chairs over here. I don't know. I'm just trying to think like if you were actually sitting out here with your family or your friends or whatever, what would be going on? Maybe we could put this little s'more table up here because there's already a bunch of stuff. So we can kind of like stick it back in the corner. I so want to use the swing set, but I underestimated how big the backyard needed to be. <laughs> I've put too much stuff already. Oh, what if instead of the plant, we had this little radio? I think that makes sense. That's cute. I'm just getting a couple other little last minute additions like 
like some garden pots. We need a trash can. I almost forgot about that. That would be bad. We do need one of those. And then some terrain paint. Probably a little bit of really light terrain paint underneath this fire pit because people are obviously like sitting there <laughs> and using it and starting fires and stuff. And otherwise I feel like the whole backyard of this house is done. And now that leaves the entire rest of the house. So here's what I've got for the front yard. Don't worry, I did manage to fit in the swing set. I needed to find a place for it. And we had a ton of space up here. Honestly, we could even put like a full on garden or something over here. I might actually do that because this whole side yard thing is like complete wasted space. And the lot isn't that big. So I feel like it's, it's worth using. We actually have so many cute things for gardening too, like the little tools and the hose and stuff. I probably should make more of an effort to use those more often, but I think that is the whole front yard done. I am gonna put a couple windows on the side of the house. I know there's like none, but I just wanna have them be reasonably placed for the interior. So for example, big window here in the hallway. We've got one in the bathroom and not many others. So, hmm, <laughs> maybe that's bad. I don't know. I think it's fine. <clears throat> I'll admit that I'm kind of trying to use like relatively cheap stuff in the bathrooms. My goal was for this house to be like easily playable. And I already know it's gonna be probably way too expensive. Like it's already 42,000 simoleons. So I'm trying to make sure I, I tone it down a little bit on the interior. See, I don't wanna use like the cheapest appliances. I know I use the cheaper counters, but that was more for like aesthetic purposes and not so much for like them being the cheapest. So maybe I can splurge a little bit on the appliances. Yeah, splurge and get the second cheapest stove instead. Yeah, okay. Look, there's room to grow in this house, okay? If you buy this one for your Sims, they will have the chance to, to flourish and eventually replace things with more expensive ones. But for now, you're getting cheap. You see, I actually think that looks good. Like I know I'm trying to pick the cheap stuff on purpose, but I honestly think that looks nice. Oh, we need more base game rugs like so badly. I guess I could use the kit one, but that's not really a normal rug. <laughs> like that's not really intended to be put in your living room, at least not in a house like this. See, that looks so sad on these giant walls. That is the, the main problem with the medium wall height is that everything looks so sad on the walls. I guess we could do some really big windows. So that might help. <sighs> I just want like a wider cabinet or something that I could put underneath the TV. A lot of times I end up using these ones and I make like a sort of fake cabinet. But even then I don't really like that, especially not for like every style house. It works sometimes, but not always. And I want to use this TV, but it's 8,500 small. I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> I can't bring myself to do that. That is ridiculous. We can use this one, but not that one. <sighs> It's so hard to make it fit nicely. And you don't wanna hang it up too high on the wall either. I think that's the best we can do. Yeah, and even that I think is probably a little bit more expensive than I was intending, I'm sorry. It's 52,000. I thought it was gonna be like 50,000 for the whole house. I really was like, oh, I'll do a budget build. Everybody can download it, it'll be great. No, no you won't, Kayla. Hmm. <laughs> it's a bit small for a big table also. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I can fit that in here, right? Like that's a little bit tight. I guess if we scooted the couch and stuff up and I could probably scoot this up a little tiny bit too, I would really like to have a proper dining table. We have so much space, but it's like not wide enough. It, it's a little bit too small. I guess potentially we could expand this out a little bit. You know what? That's probably better for everything. That is a lot more space, isn't it? Wow, okay. I think that's worth it. Did that ruin anything in the back? Yes, only a little bit though. Yeah, and you know what? We can fit all six chairs that way. I might even just open this up, to be honest with you. I think it might be okay if it's just open. Maybe I'll put the door over here. This has really thrown off all of my original plans. <laughs> Give me a sec, hang on. I destroyed my own build. Wait, one second, everybody, one second. I I think that's okay. I honestly, I think it's kind of pretty like this. I might use the white chairs too. I don't really know what the color scheme is that I'm going for. I'm kind of just winging it. I also wish that we had more base game lights that were better for this kind of thing. Cause I want to do pendants or something, but they're all so small. <laughs> like that's so puny and weak. And then if you size them up, that's way too big. I, <sighs> the base game really has a lot of nice things in it, but she definitely lacks a couple things that I feel as though I need. I know that I could use cats and dogs in here, but I really want this house to be one that like all of you can download if you buy the kit. <laughs> the kit is like less likely to be bought than cats and dogs, but the goal of this is that if you have the kit, you can download it. So I don't want to use too much cats and dogs. I know I used it on the outside, but although I guess my goal was also to be cheap and that's not happening either. So at this point, throw it all out the window. Just do whatever. All of the white walls are very bland. I'm just going to ignore it and I'm going to keep trying to furnish, but I want you to know that I also think they're bland. Oh, can we use this picture? I don't think I've used this picture in a build like ever. I, n I never use that. Let's do it. Why not? I used to use these little 
little bird things a lot and it's been a while since I last used them So maybe I'll put them on the wall in here, too I know there's like no color on that so it doesn't really help our problem, but eh. oh trash can Oh my gosh, let's put that over here Maybe like a little runner or something in the kitchen. I'm not sure which one but that's fine. Okay, I made this little office space. It has a computer, bookshelf, chess table, and also a little corkboard thing. So hopefully there's some useful gameplay items in there. I will not lie to you. I think the inside of this house is boring. I only care about the outside and I don't think anybody is surprised by that. I did intend to have like a little desk nook right here because I thought maybe the kids could do their homework here or something. It's kind of cutting into my bathroom space though. So maybe I have to scoot that back. I think that works. Great. Nice and boring. Here is the parents room, also nice and boring, but maybe I'll paint it blue or something for fun because there's clearly not enough blue in here already. And now the fun part, the kids rooms. I want to try and use a lot of the other things that we haven't used yet from the kit. For example, like this little toy. We could probably put the pop-up book in here. We have a few other little like decorative items. I'm, I might even be able to use the bed. I might try this purple swatch. It's not like a terrible bed stats wise. It's very similar to the other base game cheap ones. I wonder if like this furniture will kind of fit with it. I wish it had more of a headboard. I know, I know it's like a hot for the outside, but I'm really trying to use it in here. Oh my gosh, the little yellow swatch is so cute. I am obsessed with this pack. You don't understand. I'm so excited about this. I still can't tell if I like this thing or not. <laughs> I keep trying to use it. I keep putting it in my builds and I'm still not sure if I like him. He looks cute in here though, so he can stay. Maybe we could use the purple on the walls because we don't have a lot of purple except for the bed. And we could probably put in a couple extra posters too to bring in some more of the purple. Is there any purple swatches on these? Oh, that works. Okay, I quite like this little room. I almost want to use the bed again. I know it's not like the best bed in the game, but I really like the bed spreads on it. This one actually looks kind of terrible, like quality wise, but shh, I'm not complaining. It's got rocket ships, but I kind of want to try and use it for like a different vibe in this room. Maybe we could pretend this kid is like a little bit older, like 10 and six or something. I don't know. It's hard because kids in The Sims are all the same age, but you get it. You, you get the vision. We have that super cute little like solar system light too. I really like the idea of the kid from this room wanting like a rocket ship lamp to match their siblings because their sibling loves space so much. I feel like this little one looks up to this little one a lot. I don't know. I'm spending too much time thinking about storyline for this. <laughs> These Sims don't even exist. Look, it's just a cute idea. The thought of it makes me feel happy. So I'm, I'm going to continue to pretend. This room kind of sucks. <laughs> it doesn't match. It doesn't look good together. <laughs> Can I just say, I really did try. With the whole house I tried. You know, sometimes your builds, they just, they don't work. Sometimes, sometimes they're just a little bit ugly. And today is one of those days for me. <laughs> My builds are just a little bit ugly. Maybe this one could have like, oh, I don't know. Does this toy box match or does that like totally? I mean, there's like so many shades of blue in here. It's ridiculous. I might just use it. Maybe I'll put like a bunch of little toys on the floor near it. We have that new little tiny one. You know, somehow I think that helps. It's like messy because a kid actually lives here. Unlike the rest of the house, which looks sad. I just don't like it. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to go. I like the outside though. Fail. This house was a fail. I really tried. I swear I tried. And I like the backyard. So that's all that matters, right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need to redeem myself or something. Well, I'm gonna leave it here now that it's on the gallery and you can download it. Quick reminder, I am streaming today and the next few days every day raising money for St. Jude on my Twitch channel, so I'll have that link down below. And if you want to see more from that kit this week, I'll link that video here at the end for you if you want to go watch that. And with that, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody. You know, sometimes your builds just, they kind of flop. You're not in your best mood or something. Maybe your brain's creative juices just aren't flowing. <laughs> and then this happens.